All right, DJ, um, for you, another season back, you know most of these guys. And I think more importantly, you're the lead guard coming into this. That responsibility to kind of be the guy that kind of makes all of this work, how do you approach that from an off-season point of view? I think it starts individually uh, with myself. I, I didn't take much time off this summer. I might have sat home, spent time with my family uh, for about a week without doing anything. And then I got right to work, you know, just training with my trainer, um, working on my body, my speed, my quickness. And then uh, my basketball trainer also. And just I've been doing repetition things, working on different parts of my game I want to get better at. Um, and just getting ready for potentially playing more minutes this season. Um, nobody's told me anything about starting or doing anything, so I'm going in with that mindset that I'm trying to earn everything I, I get. And so um, that's how I worked out this summer, just hungry, like I was a young guy trying to earn minutes. You do have a couple of hungry young guys behind you, one in Jarian and then you know, certainly with Isaiah. As a veteran who's done this, how do you help those guys adjust to what you guys are trying to do? How do you play the leadership role? I know that's always been a, right. an awkward thing for you sometimes, right. but how do you play the leadership role, not only with those young guys, but with like the JIs and now the Mo Bombas? Yeah, I was telling somebody earlier, you know, just that's my biggest thing this season is just trying to be a, a better role model for my teammates. Um, and the way to help those guys just go, go at them in practice. That's the only way you get better. Uh, for me to get better is for them to come at me and, and you know, for me to go back at them and uh, for us to push each other in practice. And then that way, when we step on the court against other other players, it means nothing, you know. Um, so just being better role model on and off the court, coming in early, leaving late, I try to do that. And hopefully those guys start to do the same thing. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do or push anybody, but, you know, those guys have to want to do it. And I think the biggest, biggest person out of all those guys has been J.I. He's been um, – he asks me questions all the time. I think that's just the type of kid he is. He's – uh, always asking questions, how he can do this, how can he get better at this, and, um, you know, it's, that's what he's been doing, and, and it's been helping him. You know, the narrative has been the Magic needed to do more at point guard. You weren't not, you weren't good enough. Uh -huh. I know you've heard it. There's no way you can, as loud as it's been. But how do you want to internalize that and process that? And is that just a new same story, different day? Because yeah. you've been counted out everywhere you've gone. Exactly. I mean, I, honestly, I don't read that stuff. I don't listen to it. I hear it, but... It doesn't bother me at all because, uh, number one, you know, um, I've been in the league 11 years. Um, I've been a starter. I've been a backup. I've been benched. I've been cut. I've been through everything you can think of as an NBA player. And so nothing really phases me. And still playing at 11. I still have, you know, another year on my contract after this. So uh, that's a blessing in itself. And uh, I've never let what people say about me, you know, change how I think or, you know, how I play. So. Um, that doesn't affect me one whatsoever, um, but I know my teammates, they believe in me, my coaches believe in me, and like I said, even if I don't start, if I come off the bench, I'm still, if I get on the court, I'm still going to play the way I've always played and play hard, and uh, it comes down to winning. When you start winning, people will change everything they're saying, so I've, I've seen it all, I've heard it all, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Nice to have that kind of veteran confidence. Yeah, though. it does, I mean, yeah. I was talking with Jeff Weltman a, a little bit ago about the point guard position. He said, you know, the thing people don't understand is, one, how good of a three-point shooter you became, especially moving to the starting lineup, and then more importantly, how good the defensive intensity was. At your size, you're never known as, like, the defensive dude, but you seem to anchor the best part of this defense. What is it about that? I just think that um, you won't be on the floor. No matter how good of an offensive player you are, you won't be on the floor if you can't play defense or at least try and show effort playing defense. You know, um, and especially with Coach Cliff, defense is his main thing. So if I want to play and I want to play a lot of minutes or whatever whatever it is, I have to start by playing defense and at least try and play as hard as I can on defense. I'm not worried about offensively. Um, you know, I believe in myself. Um, I've always been a, a good shooter. Um, so, I mean, just NBA is about opportunity, man. You know, when you, you get an opportunity to play more minutes, I think we, anybody in the league will play well because we're all good. We wouldn't be in the NBA if we, if we weren't. So um, just getting the opportunity, being in the right situation and with a team that believes in you, it could do a lot for, for any individual. 11 years in, what are the things you're still working on? Let's talk about getting in the gym. You always want to keep the body right. But yeah. what are the skill things you feel like you still have room to improve on? Um, for me, skill-wise, I think I worked harder on my floater this summer. Uh, I fall too much in the games, uh, and uh, I, I wake up sometimes with knots on my elbows and leg hurting, back hurting, so I'm trying to avoid those things this season, so I worked on my floater a lot. Uh, I would say that was the only thing um, 
skill wise I worked on. Other, everything else was just repetition, getting up a lot of shots. Um, and just the main thing is always just taking care of my body. I mean, because I mean, I'm 30 now. Um, I'm, I'm small, you know, so everything people say, you know, it's true. You know, you got to take care of your body the older you get. And, and, you know, the guys who do that, they play longer in the league. You look at Vince Carter, um, guys like that. I mean, they take care of their body.